What we're going to do today is export a project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. So you might do this because you're transitioning to DaVinci Resolve because you don't want to pay the Adobe subscription, or maybe you just want to do some additional editing in DaVinci, such as color correction. But you want to make sure that you're not just doing a single file, but you actually have your edits and your clips. Notice on this one, I've, I've got m multiple audio files, I've got some transitions set, and some other adjustments that were done on here, and I want to include all of that. So within Premiere Pro, you're going to click on the project, you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Export, and you want this one here, Final Cut Pro XML. XML is kind of a universal industry standard, so pretty much any program that you send an XML file to, it should read it. That way it'll include your layers, adjustments, and other stuff. So select that and it's going to give you a, a pop-up just where you want to put it. In my case I'm going to put it in the original folder that I have all of my video files for this particular project in. You can rename it if you want. I'm going to leave mine at demo because that's what I'm doing, a demo. Hit save. It'll give you this pop-up that says that it included a separate file to let you know any errors. Hit OK. Now if I go to that folder got a lot here but you can see there's that error file so if I click on that so it's gonna tell me some stuff already isn't gonna cross over correctly because certain features that are in Premiere Pro such as effects or or maybe essential graphics you can see uh, this one here cross zoom didn't work so it automatically kind of chooses what's the next closest thing so you might have to change some of this stuff but let's jump into DaVinci in DaVinci Resolve, I've got my project ready to go, so I'm not going to show you that. I'm in the Edit page. Within the Edit page, I'm going to create a new bin just for this one. Let's click down into that bin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go Timeline, Import, AAF, EDL, XML. That's the one we want. Don't choose this one down here, Import Media from XML. Make sure to choose Timeline Import. AFEDL XML. Click on that. Go to your folder where you have it saved. Within that folder, select your XML file and hit open. Now what it's going to do here is give you a pop-up. For me, I leave pretty much everything exactly where it is. I'm going to import the timeline. If there are multiple timelines, it might give you an option of selecting a different one. The only thing I really change here is this automatically set project settings. So Notice in DaVinci, the time code automatically starts with 01 to where is my project in Premiere, it's at 00. So if I uncheck that, it's going to import it at 00. It's also going to have my timeline resolution defaulted to what I used in Premiere. So that one I uncheck, everything else I leave the same, and now I'll click OK. Three clips were not found, so it's telling me there are three clips that, for whatever reason, it couldn't find them. My guess is those clips are probably in a separate folder from the one where I did this or on a separate drive, something like that. So I could search for them, but I'm just going to hit no, and I'll find them later if I want. You get a log here, so it's going to tell you other things. So it already told me my clips, which I know are not, gonna, are not found. So since I already know that, I'm just going to close out of there, and you can see right away I've got three missing clips. So since it didn't import them into the media pool, so if we go over to media pool, notice all of my files are in here now under that peg legs folder. What I would need to do is go and figure out where those original video files were and then import them into the media pool and then link to them or import them into here and link to them. I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's pretty easy to do and I Pretty sure I've got a video on this channel already how to do that. So this is the basics of importing. You can see I get all of my audio files with the edits in them. It's going to include those transitions as best as it can. Like I mentioned, it's not going to be perfect. If I scroll through, you can kind of see it looks pretty accurate. What you can do, however, is a little trick so that you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. My video here, I've already exported it with all the edits from Premiere Pro. 
what I can do with that original file is I can jump into DaVinci. So let's go back up to master here. And then I'm going to find that original video. And I'm going to drag and drop that into DaVinci. So I've got that originally exported video. If you're not seeing the side by side view up here on the right, notice we've got this option here. So you might be looking at it and just seeing one or maybe you've got your inspector open like that. So you can close your inspector, click that, and we've got this little view where we can look at two things at the same time. On the left one here, you've got a drop down. By default, it's going to be on source. Change that drop down to offline and now just drag and drop that original export in here. And you can see what it did. It automatically lined it up and into the right place. So now I can kind of scrub through and do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if there are any differences. Now, I already know that pop-up there isn't going to come through because that's a specific one that I had in Premiere and I've already removed it. But one thing I do notice here right away is that this is zoomed in and this is not. That's pretty easy fix. All you need to do is go down to your preferences, this little wheel in the lower right corner, click on that, and then under image scaling, change the input scale from scale entire image to fit to center crop with no resize. Hit save. Notice what happened is it didn't actually change anything. That's because I didn't select on that video. So make sure that you've got the video itself selected that needs to be scaled correctly. That should solve the problem most of the time. In my case, notice it didn't actually adjust anything. So the other thing that you can do here is if you go up to your inspector and you'll have your transform set default to on, turn that off and notice now what it did is it rescaled it back to that original. So a couple things that you can do there if the scaling isn't correct when you import. Like I said, generally most everything should transfer over, but some Premiere Pro features such as essential graphics or certain effects or certain other things that maybe are more specific to their program might not transfer. So you will need to come in and do that side by side scrubbing of the two videos just to make sure that everything is exactly as you want it. You might need to make some changes.